will do it. And when we come back, uh, 1992 world driving champion Nigel Manzel will join us. Thank you. How are you? Not bad. I haven't spun off come in here, so that's quite good. <laughs> Welcome to the program. Welcome to... Although you've lived in the United States now for quite a while. You have a home here, don't you, in Florida? Yeah, I've, I've been here for the last two months. Yeah. <laughs> that's a long time. You know, there, there, there's so many things to talk to you about. Uh, you, you win the driving championship, nine races, a record nine races, and you also, during the course of the season, realize it will be your last, at least for a while, in Formula One. So you've won the championship, you're leaving Formula One. What was that season like? Was it just nuts? Was it exciting? Was it depressing? Was it both of those things? <laughs> I think it was everything. It was just sensational. And when you're focused on going for a championship, and obviously we had 14 pole positions as well, which is a, which is a record. Um, <laughs> it's, nice, it's nice to have one fan here anyway. <laughs> the man just loves poles. Nice guy. <laughs> Not as much as your uh, gun. Yeah, I know. Uh, but uh, no, it's, it's just fantastic, and I don't know whether you saw the crowd in my home country in England. Uh, Silverstone, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. The Brits go over the fences yeah. and they swarm the track, and you, you actually clipped a guy, didn't you? Oh, I ran him over. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I tell you, the most amazing thing was I ran him over, and I felt the bump, and I had to stop. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> And he was trying to jab a flag in the cockpit, yeah. but the amazing thing is two days later they found him and brought him to my home and uh -huh. he had burns all up his legs and everything. It was the proudest thing he ever had. Oh, man. And I was saying, don't sue me, don't sue me. But that is, that is sensible motoring. If you're driving a race car, you, you feel, feel a bump, bump stop. stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I know you've come close to winning the world championship, I guess, a couple other times. Three times? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you have it, but you're not going back there to compete in Formula One. You're here now driving Indy cars. T tell me about the switch. How did that come about? And, you know, you're working for I'm Paul Newman now. <laughs> you know, part of a kidnapping. I think the incredible thing was uh, there was a few politics going on over in England, and all credit's got to go to Carl Haas, who, who got on a plane, came over, mm -hmm. and, and Paul Newman was leaving messages all around England for me to call him. And uh, I've got to thank, really, all the sponsors, uh, you know, Texaco, Kmart, and and everybody uh, for getting it together because, mm -hmm. I mean, I've got a new challenge now, possibility of uh, going and winning other races on a different continent and another championship. So it's just a great thrill to be competing on the top level. Yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, it's interesting that one man, you yourself, uh, influences the sport in, in two different big-time arenas. Um, now, when, when you're driving these cars, top speed is like what? 190? You ever get to 200 in a Formula One well, car? Well, with a Formula One car, I think the most amazing statistic is naught to 200 miles an hour and stop again in less than mm -hmm. 12 seconds. That's Let's say you're going like 190 miles an hour. Do you ever sneeze? You ever have oh, to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do other things, too. <laughs> you say, goodness gracious me, when you're going backwards in the war. <laughs> uh, how, how does a, a person... Uh, I didn't paint my car red, either. <laughs> oh, no. you, you've driven for those folks. Five. Right? Yeah. Uh, how, how do you, uh, like in this country, we, we've talked to other drivers about this, in this country, uh, kids want to uh, play baseball, they get into Little League. If you want to drive race cars at your level, how does that begin? How did it begin for you? Well, uh, seven years of age, my father uh, and brother-in-law went to uh, a garage and they, they were trying out a go-kart and it was for sale for £25, which is roughly about uh, $40. Mm -hmm. And I was crying my eyes out because they wouldn't let me have a go. And eventually I got my way, so I, I went around the, the forecourt and had an accident with a petrol pump, and a petrol pump jumped out and grabbed me, and just, just knocked the wheel off, and they had to buy it, because I smashed it up. <laughs> and it basically started from there. This the is seven, seven years of age? Yeah. yeah My was, uh, God. Bit of a problem. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, Nigel, hang on here. We have to do a commercial, and then we'll uh, continue chatting with uh, Red Five right after. Season begins now, I guess, in Australia in a couple of weeks? Yeah, we go to uh, Australia next Wednesday to acclimate it, and mm -hmm. the week after is the first race down under, which is going to be quite ironic, because for the last six, seven years, the last race down under has been the, the, the finish, and now it's the first race, mm -hmm. so yeah. I've got to get mentally attuned to that. Well, good for you. It's going to be very, very exciting to have you in this series, and, and a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nigel Manzo, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. We uh, absolutely have run out of time. My thanks to the lovely Raquel Welch and, of course, Nigel Manzel. Now, uh, Lee Merrick, the science teacher from Napierville, Illinois, we will reschedule him as soon as we possibly can. I'm sorry. We... <laughs> uh, tomorrow on the program, Sarah Jessica Parker, Barry Manilow, and Harvey Picar. Thanks for being here. Good night, everybody.
on the next Vicky. A look at wacky doings in Las Vegas with comedian Rip Taylor, singer Jack Jones, and Cheryl Lee Ralph from Designing Women. From the Stars Desert Inn on the next Vicky tomorrow at 11 on Channel 2.